As you just heard, the markets are continuing to navigate the threat of a uh, trade war or trade dispute with China, especially after the news that the administration may raise its current tariffs on Chinese goods from 10 percent to 25 percent. I spoke with Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross on my morning program, Mornings with Maria, on Thursday. I asked him about the administration strategy today. The reason for the tariffs to begin with was to try to convince the Chinese to modify their behavior. Instead, they've been retaliating. So the president now feels that it's potentially time to put more pressure on in order to modify their behavior. We have to create a situation where it's more painful for them to continue their bad practices than it is to reform them. Reaction now from Muddy Waters Capital, Chief Investment Officer Carson Block joining me right now. Carson, good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. So what do you think about the president's strategy against China? We know what China has been doing. Their economic aggression has threatened the technologies of the United States. Intellectual property has been stolen for decades. And the Chinese force this transfer of technology from American companies to tech companies uh, in China. So what do you think? Is the administration right to push back here? Well, absolutely. I, I do have to hand it to the Trump administration for really identifying the threat that China poses to our way of life. I mean, this is, this is, in my view, China for some time has had a concerted strategy to transfer economic wealth from the West, from the U.S. to China. And so, you know, finally, government is realizing that and looking to push back. Um, you know, my corner is obviously capital markets. That's the one area, though, where I don't think the government understands what's happening. And so that's, yeah, that's basically I what I think we that. need to. Tell us what mm -hmm. you think is happening. I mean, there are a lot of Chinese companies listed on American exchanges, from the New York Stock Exchange to NASDAQ and uh, among others. Uh, do, what is your sense of what's happening that this administration is not aware of? So there are really four legs of what China is doing in the capital markets to damage our interests. The most obvious is the China hustle, um, where you've had literally hundreds of frauds list in the U.S. from China the past decade, raise and steal tens and tens of billions of dollars, and basically nobody from the China side has been, pu has been punished. That's one. But also on the U.S. side, we're financing Alibaba, we're financing Baidu and other Chinese companies that are acquiring key technologies from the U.S. So we're using the capital markets to finance the degradation of our strategic technological advantage. Over in Hong Kong, you have a similar wealth transfer scheme going on where lots of U.S. money that's in these index funds Basically, these index funds are indiscriminately buying into stock manipulations and frauds, once again transferring U.S. wealth. And the fourth leg is also in Hong Kong, where we've seen companies that receive illegal state subsidies um, that to dump their products in the U.S. are also committing significant stock fraud to, you, to lure Western money into the equity markets to provide a further subsidy to help dump their product. So those are the four areas that... I can see from my perch. You know, it's interesting because the administration has been using tariffs as a way to get China to stop its behavior in terms of stealing IP and enforcing the transfer of technology. And China is retaliating. It's pushing back. Are tariffs the right tool for this administration to use to get China to change its behavior and bad practices? That, that's a... That. My view that that's not going to be enough. I mean, if we're talking purely on trade issues, I have a view that possibly differs from that of many of the people in the administration. I do think that the international trading system is a very good system. We built it in our image. There's one major player at the table who does not play by the rules. So from my perspective, much more coordinated or concerted action by the other major trading nations to force China to play by the rules 
would be helpful. Yeah, but doesn't doesn't this totally open the U.S. up to upset because China has been such an important market for U.S. companies? I mean, even though the fraud is there and the Chinese won't even allow real access, you have to own 49 percent of a joint venture and, and, and partner up with the Chinese company and they'll own 51 percent. Still, the Chinese market, 1.3 billion people, is important for American companies. So if we start pushing back on even Chinese listings, doesn't that hurt American companies ultimately? Well, I th one of the things that I think we really need to talk about in this conversation with China and the U.S. is in order to realign things to benefit the U.S. long term or to really counteract the detriment to the U.S. over the long term, there will be short-term pain. Carson, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks so much.